Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up the Mega Blaziken EX Premium Collection Box. I bought this box, which is brand new and not officially released yet, from Target for $44.99. I actually had to drive to five different stores until I found a store that had one of these in stock. And the reason that this set this box is so important for me to find as it has Breakthrough in it, the brand new set supposed to be released on November 4th. I've actually opened up the Mega Swampert EX Premium Collection box, had amazing pulls out of there, hoping to repeat those types of pulls out of this box. Now on the back here you can see everything that's on the inside. It includes 8 booster packs, an oversized Mega Blaziken EX, regular sized Mega Blaziken EX, and then Blaziken EX, a Pokemon coin, online TCG code card, and then a playmat. So I'll open it up here. And I'll definitely be opening up all of the breakthrough items when they are released. Official release date is November 4th. I'll probably be giving away 10 breakthrough booster packs right away when the set is released, as well as both Steam decks. Okay, so the plastic wrap is off. These are officially $49.99 in stores. The Target I went to had a sale going on. I got 10% off both collection boxes. That's why it was $44.99 each. So I'll take everything out here. Okay, so here is the Pokemon coin. And then the Mega Blaziken EX. Pretty cool looking card. XY86 is the number on that one. Regular Blaziken EX. And I personally like Swamper a little bit better, but Blaziken's not far behind at all in my rankings of Pokemon. There's the online TCG code card. Here is the Playmat. Pretty cool looking. I definitely like to play on this mat. I can just leave it down here once I show it up, but there it is right there. Pretty cool looking. It actually be a nice background for my openings. But there you have it. Set that on the table. I'll get out the oversized Mega Blaziken EX. Possibly. There we go. Here is the oversized card. Exact same as the regular size. More of just a collector's item. I'll take all of the packs out. Eight total packs, two of each set, starting with Clam of Clash, going up to Breakthrough. Ooh. Okay, so here are all the booster packs. Two Prime of Clash, two Roaring Skies, two Ancient Origins, and then the two newest packs here. Official release date isn't until November 4th two breakthrough packs. We'll start with this Zoroark break right on the front there first. Okay, so first pack here. Be nice to pull out another Ultra Rare in the Swampert Premium Collection Box. I pulled out one. Okay, so first card in the first pack is a Piplup. There's Hippopotus, Pan Sage, Ralts, Scatterbug, Floatstone, there's a Magneton, Fisherman, Reverse Hollow of, Starly, just a common, and the rare breakthrough card in the pack is an Octillery Hollow. So first hollow pull from the breakthrough set, Octillery. Okay, on to the next pack here. Mega Houndoom on the cover artwork. I've actually opened up both Blue Shock and Red Flash on YouTube already. You should watch those openings if you haven't already. They're the Japanese equivalents to Breakthrough. Okay, this pack starts off with an Hippopotus. Pulled that card in the last pack. Cyndaquil. Goldeen. Starly. Chesspin. Professor's Letter. Spoopa. Houndoom Spirit Link, Reverse Hollow, oh, there we go, Florges Break. These are in the Reverse Hollow spot, similar to Prime cards from the Heart Gold Soul Silver. 
series of sets, but a Florges Break. Now, these cards really are nice. They remind me of the Legend cards from Heart Gold Soul Silver series of sets, but they perform more like Level X cards in the field of play. Florges Break. That is a great card. And then the last card in the pack is a Halucha Rare Non Hollow. But a great pull right there. I've had extremely good luck with Breakthrough so far. Okay, next pack here is one with Mega Tyranitar on the cover artwork. Okay, here's a code card. Okay, this pack starts off with a Baltoy, followed by Ralts, Golet, Eevee, Quagsire, Flareon. This is actually a very good card in the metagame right now. There is a Forest of Giant Plants, Sabli, Reverse Hollow of a Tyranitar Spirit Link, Uncommon Reverse Hollows, Hollow here, and the rare card in the pack. Whoa, two packs in a row with great pulls. Looks like it could be a Lugia. It is an Ampharos EX. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Ampharos in an EX form. So two great packs right in a row. Two, actually, three for three on packs so far out of this box opening. A hollow card, break card, and then there is a regular hollow card. Okay, on to this Koopa Unbound pack. Okay, here is the code card. Move the rare inverse solo to the back of the pack. And first card is a Baltoy. There's a Quagsire. Combi. There's Golet, followed by a Larvesta. And then there's a Blossom. Eco Arm. Dangerous Energy. Reverse Hollow of Gyarados. There's a nice ancient trait, rare reverse hollow. Just tilt it back a little bit so you can see the hollow the reverse hollow on it. And then the rareness pack, a Vespaquin. So two ancient trait cards right in a row. A good pack overall with two rares in it. Okay, next up here. Moving on to a Mega Rayquaza. Roaring Squ Skies pack. Okay, code card. Okay, this pack starts off with a Cascoon, followed by Halucha. There's a Dratini, Natu, Wingle, Unpheasant, Electrode, Altaria, Reverse Hollow of a Talo, that is a common Reverse Hollow, and the rare in this pack is, ooh, third ultra rare pull of this box. It is a Mega Latios EX. So this is really a better box than the Mega Swampert EX Premium Collection box I opened up just a couple of days ago, but both have had extremely good pulls so far, and I still have three packs left out of here. Just an amazing box overall. Next up here is a Roaring Skies pack that has Mega Gallade on the cover artwork. Okay, there's the code card. Move the rare inverse hollow to the back of the pack. And this pack starts off with a Spiro, Voltorb, Inkay, there's a Cascoon, Meowth, Wally, Togetic, Ultra Ball, reverse hollow of Electrode, and that is an uncommon card, and the rare in this pack. A Dragonite Hollow. That is a cool looking ancient trait hollow right there. And Dragonite, another one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Extremely good pull so far, and I still have two packs left to open up out of this box, both Primal Clash. Primal Clash does have pretty good pull rates in it, so it's possible I could pull another EX out. We'll have to take a look and see. Okay, here's the code card. Okay, this pack starts off with a Tentacool, followed by Vulpix, there's a Corfish, Tynamo, Weedle, there's Magcargo, Kakuna, Whizcash, Sfeel is the Reverse Hollow, 
That's a common card. And the rare in the first Primal Clash pack is, wow, you've got to be kidding me here. Another ultra rare, Groudon EX. That is a great pull right there. That makes four ultra rares out of seven packs so far. Wow. And I know a long time ago when they first released that Mega Metagross premium collection box, I had pretty good pulls out of that. And then a lot of people commented on my video saying that they didn't have very good pulls at all. I wonder if Nintendo put better pull rates in these boxes just because people have to spend so much money on buying these. But I know in the Mega Metagross case, those two cards in there, the Black Star promos, are actually worth quite a bit. It probably, they'd probably be worth about thirty dollars combined, so more than half the box just right there. Okay, last pack here starts off with Surskit, Zigzagoon, Trico, Shroomish, Tangela, Combuskin, Rough Seas, Mister Mime, Reverse Solo of a Zigzagoon. That is just a common card. And the final card out of this Mega Blaziken EX Premium Collection Box. An Asia Slash Hollow. Wow. You can really not be beat these pulls out of here. I can summarize my pulls. So I opened up eight total packs. Se <laughs> seven. Wow. Seven of the eight packs had either a Hollow or an Ultra Rare in it. I can summarize my pulls right now. It's basically like opening a booster box out of these packs. Wow. But three hollow cards, I can just not believe it. Three hollow cards, Aegislash, there's a Dragonite, which is an ancient trait, and then an Artillery, and this one's from Breakthrough. Both Breakthrough packs had good pulls out of here. And then I pulled out a Break card, Florges Break, from the Breakthrough pack. I really like the looks of these cards. And then three EX cards, I guess if you really think about it, I didn't pull out any EX Full Arts or, or Mega EX Full Arts or anything like that. EX cards are really about 1 in 8 to 1 in 12 packs. Okay, so I pulled out 2 EX, 1 Mega EX. So I pulled out Ampharos, Groudon, and then the final card was the Mega Latios EX. So, overall, beyond happy with my pulls out of this box. If you have $49.99 to go out and buy this box, I would definitely recommend it. I had great pulls with both the Mega Blaziken and the Mega Swamper EX Premium Collection boxes. I cannot wait for Breakthrough to come out November 4th. I'll be buying everything that is released, and I hope to have great pulls from those items as well. So, thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So, thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Wow.